Right. So I want to share a quick message from the mountain top here. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah. I have been uh, through a lot of suffering today and uh, it's because of my nervous system that is very hypersensitive to people. Uh, and I just moved into a new place and uh, really beautiful human beings and I still, like a collective, and I still, it's also the same being outdoors, walking out around people. Then I encountered this guy, I was out, I was up here, I found this forest and I did some Qigong and meditation and then I heard a voice, it was like, hey! And I turned around, he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm doing some Qigong here in the beautiful sunlight. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> He's like, oh. Um, and then he, he kind of walked up on, on the rock that I was standing on and he just like walked really threateningly and just like stood right in front of me with his chest out, this really big buff guy. And he was like, where do you live? <laughs> and I was like, I live here. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, and I was, uh, I wasn't actually feeling afraid. I just had a really huge adrenaline kick and I did feel fear. Um, some kind of really, yeah, but not the same that I usually would feel. Uh, but anyway, it was a interesting interaction and, and, uh, yeah, um, he, he ended up kind of walking away. I didn't quite convince him that I live here. He thought that I was uh, going to try to steal something or whatever. Um, but, um, but yeah, it was a little bit traumatic for me. Um, and that said, um, I just want to highlight something, which is love and light. And it just always makes me feel so good to talk about love and light because it's it's the real deal, bro. It's the shit. So, <laughs> love and light, right? Love and light. And this guy was obviously very afraid, very fearful. And so am I. I'm living in so much fear. I've been living in so much fear all my life. And just, uh, you know, there's the story with the, the wolves, the two wolves. Um, the wolf of love and the wolf of fear and the grandson asks the grandfather which one wins and the grandfather says the one you feed son and what I want to mention today is exactly that because having lived in constant fear during my childhood um, and then finding love, love as an option in my heart, my heart just opening up to the possibility of love. You get to, I get to, uh, to choose uh, more and more, to choose love, more and more love every day. And letting that love expand so in this case, w w what I didn't do when I was talking with this guy was I didn't send him a lot of love when I was talking to him. I was just kind of like fight and flight, freeze-ish mode. But what I could have done is I could have sent him love. And I don't know if, how that would have changed the interaction, but I'm sure it would have done something. Um, and just expanding that love, expanding the love, expanding the gratitude, appreciation, and love. This is just not, 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 not ruminating about the past or about the future, but just expanding that which is good. That's the practice. Into flowers larger than the moon. Expand that love. Let that love shine brightly throughout the universe. The love that you are. 
Be that love. Be that love, baby. Gosh, I'm really, really uh, looking good today. Um, and so are you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wishing you a beautiful day, deep diver. Thank you for watching. And expand that love. Breathe into that love. Breathe into that space of love. Breathe into that light. Breathe into that gratitude. And send that love out to other people. But start with yourself. Start with yourself. Everything is possible.